y'all didn't come here to hear my jimber jamber. You, <laughs> you came here to see who's going to win the PS5. Non-apologetic news, not what you're used to. Non-apologetic news, telling you the truth. Non-apologetic news, saying what they're scared to. Non-apologetic news, do do. Non-apologetic news. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new action-packed episode of Non-Apologetic News. This week we are announcing the winner of the PS5 giveaway. That is right, later on in the show we will say who wins. I am Travesty. Next to me is Body Bag. We are Non-Apologetic News. First up, we got a little bit of a doozy. So you're going to need to buckle up your britches on this one. We're gonna go to Houston now. A Houston teacher faces a felony charge for allegedly putting her son in the trunk of her car. It says she reportedly told workers at a drive through COVID-19 test site that she thought he might have been infected with the virus and having him ride in the trunk was an effort to avoid exposure to her. Now, with Warren in hand, deputies went to her home looking for her. She is a 10th grade English teacher at Cypress Fairbanks Independent School District, and she is currently on the run and wanted for felony child endangerment. Now, she, she took the 13-year-old to the testing site, and she told the health director there, hey, my son's in the trunk. He's locked up. We're chilling. She was she was there for at least 45 minutes. So 45 minutes plus the drive. That's how long this kid was in the trunk. So, you know, some people aren't worried about COVID at all. And some are extremely worried. <laughs> and some people lock their children in the trunk because they think their children might have COVID-19. Now, could you imagine ever locking your daughter in the trunk? No. <laughs> now, it does make me wonder, like... I have a little bit of a video from her here, and I want to just show you a quick snippet of something she says. This is from the Facebook of the school. This is something in the past. It has nothing to do with the current story, but this is the woman in question. A classroom feels to me like it should be an extension of my home. Now, so that makes me think two things. One, is she locking kids in the closet? Because, you know, she's locking kids in the trunk at home. And two, she's a fairly attractive woman. She looks just like my last girlfriend. And that's not like a joke. I might want to see if she moved to Houston or not. <laughs> she is a, a, a pretty woman. So I wonder, is she like a single mom or recently divorced, maybe? I'm not, no, I'm not like interested. The, the reason I say that is maybe she's jaded against all men right now. So like the love of her life screwed her over and that's the baby daddy. So now every day she has to see that man in the eyes of her child and wonder if it was all a mistake. All right. <laughs> and I wonder if it's, if this isn't the first time, if this is like a threat that she throws out, like she runs around the house when he messes up and is like, don't make me go pop the trunk. <laughs> You know, so <laughs> this is absolutely insane. And the son is the same age as the people she teaches. So I wonder, obviously, she's on leave. She's, she's fired. Yeah. She's done. Um, but her kid still has to go to school. If he ever got out of the trunk. They never said if he got out of the trunk. Um, so he has to go to school. So I wonder, is like, are all of his peers like messing with him? Calling him, I don't know. Hey, you want to go for a ride? <laughs> <laughs> So if you're of the younger persuasion and you're watching this and you're thinking, oh, oh, my parents are so bad, it could always be worse. So whatever you do, don't make me go pop the trunk on you. <laughs> so teachers are the backbone of our nation. So we will end this story like this. Take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. That's right. It took me 30 minutes to find that damn <laughs> clip to cut it up. <laughs> All right, I'm going to toss it to you. What do you have up first for us today? Okay, we have uh, Killer Squirrels. Mm. Squirrel injures 18 people in two days. Yeah, it's a gray squirrel which attacked and injured 18 people. It has been captured. He's, uh, he's not out there no more. Tearing shit up. The animal earned itself the nickname Stripe after the vicious character in the film Gremlins. It started attacking people in Buckley... Flintshire. Wow. Yeah. Last week, over a two day period, this was much to the distress of Corny Reynolds, 65. Corning. Corning. A lot of stupid names in our news stories. Yeah. Remember uh, Brayden? Brayden. <laughs> 
It said it was a friendly visitor, and then apparently it took a dark turn. Stripe initially came to steal bird food, and Miss Reynolds said, all those months he's been fine. He would never come and take a nut out of my hand. Or he would even come and take a nut out of my hand. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Put a nut in her hand, too. <laughs> but she said he uh, bit her last week, and then she saw reports of other bites and attacks on the town Facebook page. I absolutely hate squirrels. I do, too. I can't stand You know, being out in the country, they ruin everything. Like, if you have something that doesn't, like, if you're not, if it's not like your everyday vehicle, they will eat the wiring out of it. Same with your house, your electrical lines. There's something they put on that, mainly in vehicles, but sometimes in the house as well. It's like a peanut oil. It's some sort of, I don't know why. I'm sure there's a reason, but it's what they cake the uh, lines, like your battery lines with. And the squirrels will just go in there and eat it. And then you'll go to, like, start your, like, forklift or something that's maybe been set for a month and... It just won't. And now you don't know where to start. You got to rewire everything. These guys suck so much so that I bought my father something called the Squirrelinator. Squirrelinator. <laughs> it is a big cage, essentially. It's about this tall and it has a trap door in it. And you put a little bit of feed and you wire it to the ground. And not only will it get like when they go in, they can't come out. But it won't be like one squirrel. It would be like one squirrel, then another squirrel, then another squirrel. And you can fit like 30 squirrels in this thing. Jeez. So right when I saw it, you know what I thought. I thought to myself. It's a hot seller. <clears throat> that's what they are. That's exactly what it is. So I grabbed it right when I could find it and fuck squirrels. Yeah. Fuck that squirrel too. So they never caught the uh, criminal here? Oh, no. He's been caught. Is he being punished? I'm sure he's been Turned into soup or something. I don't oh. know how you eat squirrel, but I know people do. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I ate it when I was a child. I think it's like anything else. So if it was normalized, it would probably be fine. You know, it's just like taboo and weird to eat it. Right. But like if it was the normal thing you could buy at the supermarket, I'm sure everyone would go crazy for it. Oh, right? yeah. All right. Well, keep us updated on this. If anything else happens, I believe we need to know. Yeah. Know. Okay. I know when the trial is. <laughs> You'll be tried by his peers. <laughs> I just picture the whole courtroom. With him. <laughs> now, it's the time. What the fuck is that noise? Okay, and now is the time that I'm sure everyone is waiting for. We are about to announce the winner of... Got to keep it suspenseful. Do you know what these people are about to win, buddy? What is it? A PlayStation 5. Oh. Now, we did the contest where uh, whoever subscribed to the channel, whoever, you know, uh, what was it? Subscribed to the channel and commented on a video, we entered into the contest. But we had a lot of people enter this. So I thought... Why just give away one prize, right? But uh, <laughs> keep in mind, we're, you know, when you listen to our episodes, we're not sponsored by Quip. We're sponsored by my nine to five, right? That's who sponsors this show. So what we are going to do too, we're going to do the PS5 and then we're going to do a second winner. The second winner is going to win a PlayStation Network gift card. Before you guys at me, like, I understand you might not have a PS5, but you could buy games for the PS4, for anything. If the PS3 network's still up, I don't know how that works. But you'll be able to buy games or whatever we will make sure. So what we have done is we have our trusty Dusty. You see, it is official and definitely not from the kitchen here. So Some great shit. we have taken all of the entries and what I thought would be the most fair is I wrote them on the back of sticky notes and I folded the sticky notes shut to where none of us can see any names even when we look in there. But since I'm the one who put the names in there, I want you to mix them up a little bit while I talk about the PlayStation 5 journey. So I got my PS5 around launch time and it really wasn't as difficult as everyone made it out to be. But trying to get this son of a gun... I'd say I was at it for, what, about two months almost? And what sucks is I had to start following the PlayStation announcement streamers. And there's these guys, like, they'll they'll send you Twitter alerts. And right, you have to be logged into, like, all the retailer sites. And right when they hit you with that, you got to run to that site because it's not going to be available in, like, four minutes. 
So there's one guy, he's like the top guy. If anyone knows, you know who I'm talking about. And I had to watch his live streams. And he, I don't know, man. At first you feel bad for this kid. So I was like donating to his streams and whatnot. But he acts like he's the gatekeeper of PlayStations. Like if someone goes on his stream and they're like, no, I'm going to try it my way. He'll be like... (laughs) <laughs> Whatever, I guess, I guess you don't want a PS5 then, huh? <laughs> and <laughs> quick story. When I first started looking, he um he said that he knew the six executives from Amazon. Three of them had already given the okay for a PS5 drop, and he was going to have a conference call later on this evening with the other three. Because they all six have to sign off, right? And right. they're giving the time to him. So instead of saying what he should have said, which is, hey, I uh, I have a tip. Apparently at 3 a.m. Amazon is going to drop. He went on and said, I know the executives. I talked to the executives. It is 100% dropping tonight at 3 a.m. So like 10,000 people stayed up and nothing happened. And then he like realized all these people aren't his friends because people started churning on him and he disappeared for like a month. <laughs> but he came back and uh, I, I don't know if he was directly responsible for getting this PlayStation, but I did donate to a stream, even though I, I'm talking nonsense. He just kind of annoys me. But y'all didn't come here to hear my jimber jamber. You, <laughs> you came here to see who's going to win the PS5. First one we draw out, that's the PS5 winner. Second one we draw out will be the PS Network. PS Network? The sure. PlayStation Network uh, gift card. And basically, uh, one more thing, though. Um, all my contacts here go to the About section of the page. I might put it in the description. My email's there. When we draw your name, email us, and we are going to make you verify that you own the YouTube channel associated with the name we draw. So don't email me saying you're Firefighter456, you know, because I am going to make you jump through a quick hurdle and to verify it is you. Okay, so... PS5 giveaway is coming. Well, we almost did not get it official. PS5 giveaway is coming. Who will it be? Well, some of these have been stuck together for like 30 days. Okay. We have Jerem- Jeremy. It's when you can't read your own handwriting. Jeremy <laughs> Stevens. If you are... This man, Jeremy Stevens, you have seven days to contact us or we are going to be drawing another name. So, Jeremy Stevens, we'll keep that to the side. Email me, we'll make you verify your channel, and then we'll send that right over to you. But we are not going to end there. We are going, we are going to do one more, and one more winner will be. Should have made a longer drum roll. <laughs> Can't get this one open. Oh, what the hell? Eons FN. Eons FN. I O N S space F N. If your YouTube handle is Ions FM, hit us up. You got seven days. We'll uh we'll hit you with that PlayStation uh network gift card. So if you are either of these two gentlemen, let's turn that right side up, then you either have yourself a PlayStation in Jeremy's case, or in Eon's case, he must be a streamer or something. You have yourself a PlayStation Network gift card. Well, that was fun, and now that I am thoroughly broke, I'm going to toss it back to you. What do you have to close us out with today, buddy? All right. Police in northern Nigeria have seized more than 200 kilograms, which is about 440 pounds of cocaine worth the round. 8.7 mil. That was being transported in the local mayor's official truck. The mayor and his driver, who were in the vehicle at the time, were arrested with 199 bricks of cocaine at a checkpoint on the road heading north. West Africa moved often a transit route for illegal drugs on the way from South America to Europe, has registered a series of record busts in the recent years. So this was the, the, the mayor's truck. Yeah, and the mayor. So it belonged to the mayor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, there was no cartel hit it. It belonged to the mayor. Yeah. That is crazy. I wonder if, what other shit is he doing? 
Uh, you know, because then he's, now because he just got caught with a fucking yeah, yeah, but, I mean, he, might, he might be able to get out, <laughs> but it means uh, with that much cocaine, he's working with the cartels. He's doing like some crazy shit. This was in Nigeria, it said. Yeah. And Nigeria is in Africa. I believe so. Well, holy hell. I wonder if the next man who replaces him will be any better. I do not know. Now, it does say it was also pure cocaine. That's what makes me think, you know, the, uh, you know, working with the gangs. Because it wasn't like it was something like street cocaine that was about to be sold. It means it's about to be sold to a distributor who's then going to do a shit to it, sell it to the dealer who's going to sell it to the fiend. That's how drug dealing works, if you don't know. But, yeah, that is fantastic. And I do hate to cut you off, but I am getting the light, the signal that we are out of time for today's episode. Now, like, subscribe. We will be back, but we must go because we have a PlayStation 5 to pack. All right. Right now? Right now, we are going to pack it up. And as soon as we get your email, it's going out to you, whatever your name was. Non apologetic news. Good night, everybody. It's Jeremy, man. Jeremy. Yeah, our, <laughs> yeah, Jeremy. Hit us up. Non apologetic news. <laughs> <laughs>